So what we need is a real antivirus to solve our problems. And here we go. We've got XP Antivirus 2008. It's a bit old, but it can finally solve. All of the malware problems are... Okay, God. For a second, I, for a second I thought uh, that the rat had actually killed XP Antivirus. Okay, this system is infected. You're right. In a tr Okay, wait. Is the antivirus and the or the fake antivirus who's what's killing XP antivirus? Okay, let's try rebooting. Because usually these rogues will mess with your registry such that Okay, and now XP antivirus seems to have gotten the jump on Okay, so it's found two thousand threats. Now let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we can look at our recommendations. See what we should do. Well, of course, we can't buy it because the server for it is long down, and now it's going to ask us for a registration key, which we don't have and cannot get. But okay, so it did it. Let's see. So it's still so far it's holding up. Now, I think the main the main thing that we're finding out uh, is if oh, <laughs> I, I love the names of these things. Like the rogue antivirus, they just have such good names, like. Trojan virus with key logging and rootkit capability. IRC bot. That this one actually could sound like more plausible. Adware search. The IRC bot. Ah, malware family. Like that's legit. Adware vertum. Okay. Adware vertum. So like advertum. Okay. Toolbar. IRC bot. What happened? I, I I've tried a XP antivirus before. I know it doesn't kill itself. Uh, so, is it totally gone? Or okay, it's still in the tray. So what I'm guessing is that one of the malware on the system just simply kills anything that has anti-malware in the name. Okay. It's funny how it's called XP Antivirus, but it's clearly got a logo for Vista. So you can look at options. No. Okay. Installed at Windows. Now, interestingly, you cannot turn that option off. We can have it pretend to download updates. Okay. It cannot cannot do that. So it would actually then be checking for updates. We can check on real time protection. Of course, we cannot cannot register it because the it's it's no longer for sale and the servers seem to be dead. So if one rogue is good, uh, what happens if we throw another rogue in? Okay, and now we've got a much more powerful, uh, totally legitimate antivirus. This one is. The infamous spy sheriff that I actually thought was lost media, but it seems like I found it. I found a working download for it, so let's try it out. Okay. Okay, and now come on. Is the sheriff? The sheriff is here. Now let's see if spy sheriff can get rid of our troubles. We're counting on it. Uh, it knows six hundred and fifteen spywares. I don't think you call them spywares. It's a deep registry scan is in progress. Now, all of these are rogue antiviruses or scareware. The way that they will operate is they will, a bit like the tech support scam, they will tell you that you've got a million viruses and the only way to get rid of it is to pay. But I, but they actually, in a way, as much as they are definitely malicious, can remove malware by virtue of the fact that a lot of them will block you from running anything on your computer. So I'm just kind of hoping that we end up with a situation where Spy Sheriff is able to kill Conhos, and we end up with a happy family of viruses fighting viruses. Uh, let's see if Spy Sheriff... Uh, also the fact that... Oh, oh, Spy Sheriff has found something found in the file system. Your system is infected. Well, we can't. So we have 15,000 spywares. Wow. PS God is a rogue. <laughs> really? Okay. Spy Sheriff is actually something else. Uh, yeah. No. That's, that's wonderful. So it actually has found... Wait a second. I think that actually is anti XP antivirus. Did Spy Sheriff just do something for real? 
Okay, that that was unexpected. Okay, let's see if the Spy Sheriff can do anything good. Remove found threats. Now here is where it's going to ask us for a, a license. Now of course we can try and go, but of course the Spy Sheriff website is long gone, so we will not be able to purchase a Spy Sheriff license. And we can try putting in an activation code, but it's not going to... Incorrect code, please purchase. Okay. So I guess we're going to have to continue unprotected without the sheriff's help. Okay, so XP Antivirus got the jump, and then Spy Sheriff comes up. Let's see if we can... I don't think we can update our Spy Sheriff. And sp Yeah, that's right. They, they've installed, like, renewals for people. Neither is XP Antivirus 2008. Now, XP Antivirus I've already done a decent analysis on, and I've got, it's a two-step payload. I don't know quite how Spy Sheriff... Oh, no, okay. So Spy Sheriff uh, just thinks that we're not on the internet because it can't reach its server. So we can take a look around, and we can actually... Okay, let's try scanning Spy Sheriff with Malwarebytes. Of course, Malwarebytes not going to approve the spy, because even this really old Malwarebytes knows that Spy Sheriff is not a real antivirus. <laughs> yep, Spy Sheriff is not quite a real antivirus. So let's try, let's try running a scan again. Let's see what happens if we quarantine the sheriff. Seems like Spy, uh, yeah, Spy Sheriff is gone, but antivirus XP, which we didn't try to remove via Malwarebytes. Oh, oh, and both of them got taken out by the virus, which is funny. So Spy Sheriff is the only survivor. And Malwarebytes took out our Spy Sheriff. Let's look at our README. Spy Sheriff with all of the components, databases, procmon, sound effects. Is that like an open source? It's actually kind of funny. And it's got some, got some other modules. We could try Internet Explorer just to see if that is affected by any of our uh, legitimate antivirus solutions. Oh! Antivirus XP does take over Internet Explorer. Okay, that's what I was expecting. But it seems like it's not able to do it to other browsers. So realistically, these malware, even on really old operating systems, are kind of nullified because nobody's going to be using Internet Explorer anymore. So that's going to be all for this video. So it seems like, I, I don't know, I have to try Spy Sheriff on a clean VM to confirm, but it seems like Spy Sheriff is a broken clock and it is right once a day. Uh, XP Antivirus gets a total fail.